So we're back working on this 09 Mercedes ML320. Uh, this time for the glow plug problem. This is the glow plug controller right here under the front of the engine cover. And uh, I'm going to print a wiring diagram for this thing. Uh, the, the fault code is uh, 13C700, I believe. Let me double check this. 13C700, yes, that's the fault code. So we're going to access this module uh, and test the glow plugs. Hopefully the glow plugs are going to test okay. Um, I've replaced one of these modules on a previous ML a couple of years ago. For a similar fault, I'd have to double check. But that's where we're at, so we're going to get a schematic out. So I've chosen to use a uh, Mitchell version of the schematic because it's much easier to follow. It's a more traditional format. There's three glow plugs on one bank, three glow plugs on the other bank. This is the, the glow plug controller, they're calling it a output stage. Um, so we're going to confirm the glow plugs at the controller for continuity to ground. And we're also going to check powers and grounds to this thing. So you have to remove this uh, crankcase breather or crankcase filter or something or whatever is in the front corner here. And then uh, plug up the hole with something suitable so you don't drop anything in there. I think that would be kind of nasty if you drop something in there. Now I've got the a headlight connected to the main battery cable coming in and uh, it lights a headlight just fine so I'm assuming that that wire is good that's the main feed wire and the rest of the wires are here um, I'm contemplating removing it completely I started to take this bracket off but maybe I could just unplug it here and do some tests right here so I did have to remove that upper bracket there's a bolt and nut on the front and a, a cap screw at the back this connector is difficult to remove because you have to squeeze both halves of the connector to release it and uh, there's the module off. The terminals are numbered inside. So we're going to identify the six wires going to the glow plugs. And there's got to be a, a ground wire on this thing, or unless it uses, no, it's got to be a ground wire on this thing as well. So we'll have a look at those. So on the schematic, it shows pins one, two, and three is for one bank. Cylinders. Uh, one, two, and three, and seven, eight, and nine is on the other bank. So one is in the bottom left-hand corner there, and seven is directly above it, just slightly off to one side. So those are the the six in, uh, glow plugs, and number five, sorry, number six is ground. So we're going to double check six is ground, and that's at this end. So we're going to check those wires. So it's actually pins 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is a ground, and 7 and 8 are glow plugs. So looking at the connector here, it's these four pins are glow plugs. The next one is a ground, and these two are glow plugs. So we're going to qualify those. So I'm using a headlight connected to battery power, and I'm probing this pin this pin, this pin, this pin, this one, and this one. So that just tested all six glow plugs and the glow plug controller ground which is on pin number six. So the only thing left to qualify, I've already qualified the battery power to it. Um, let's see what else have we got here. Six wires. It's got to be a wake-up signal. Oh, it's a LIN bus signal. This number. This number 12 is a LIN bus signal. That must go back to the end of ECM. Well, we got no way of really conveniently qualifying that. So I'm saying that this module is defective, unfortunately. So we'll see what one is worth. So I decided I would double check the resistance of each circuit to ground on the off chance that one of the glow plug circuits was actually shorted to ground. Because uh, using the test light and using the glow plug as a ground, 
just tells me there's continuity to ground through the ele heating element. But if, if the wire's shorted to ground, it could take out the drive transistor. So I went to pin one, which is glow plug number one, and it reads 0.31 ohms. Pin two reads 0.31. Pin three, 0.31. Pin four, 0.31. And then I went to pin five, which I thought was the ground, but it turns out that that's ignition power. So we're gonna qualify that. Pin six is the ground. This is the six, number six pin, and you can read it's 0 0.00. Pin seven is another glow plug, 0 0.31. And pin eight is the last glow plug, 0 0.31. So other than checking this pin five, which on the schematic here shows it as going off to another portion of the circuit. It's the, it, I believe that's ignition power, so we're going to double check that. I'm going to double check the schematic before I put a test light on there to make sure I don't fry something. Okay, so here we're looking at the uh, glow plug controller in pin 5, and I've highlighted it here. And it goes off to the next diagram on the location 8 there. So this is the next diagram in the, in the order. There's 8. Oops, I had it open already. And here it is coming in right here. It's a red green wire. It goes down and feeds a bunch of sensors. Feeds the right hot mass airflow sensor. This goes off to the left hot mass airflow sensor. Uh, it goes up this way and back off onto this previous page at location 9. It also goes to the fuel preheating system, um, inlet port shutoff motor, left exhaust gas recirculation position sensor, charge pressure position positioner, and the power steering pump pressure. So let's go back to the previous diagram here and chase this over here. Here it is here. So that goes to location three on the previous diagram. Here it is on this page. It goes right across the page to location three on the previous diagram. Here it is here. I've highlighted it and it actually comes from a 10 amp fuse. So we're going to qualify that power feed wire. That's probably only hot with the key on because it comes from the engine circuit relay. So we're going to qualify that. It should be safe to qualify that. It's a 10 amp, it's a 15 amp fuse. So it should be safe to qualify that circuit using uh, a test light. Uh, the reason why my test light lit when I was using that as a ground is because the test light then found ground through all of those components, those heaters and modules. So that would do no damage to anything. It was an inconclusive test result though. So we're going to qualify this, this circuit. And uh, I've already ordered the, uh, the glow plug controller. I'm sure that's what it needs. So with the ignition key on, pin 5 lights a headlight with no problem. So I'm sure that that ignition power feed wire is good to this, this uh, glow plug controller.